Greg Miller from the Joy of Wood. I love spoke shaves. What a wonderful tool. They've been around for centuries. They started out as beautiful wooden ones like this. Different sizes. Fantastic. Used by so many different trades. Coopers for making barrels. Coach builders and wheelwrights for shaping spoke shave. That's where the name comes from. Shaping spokes. Cabinet makers. Even book binders for shaving leather. Lots of different possibilities. These have been around forever. We still use these, but probably for the last 120 years or so, there have been a lot of metal ones around. And uh, so we've got a few different ones here. So this is probably the most common one that you see around, and this is the number 151. So it's a Stanley, this one here, and it has these little adjusters up here. So these are a beautiful tool to use. Love it. We use lots of them. I'm just going to explain a little bit about these tools because we now carry the Kunz brand, German made spoke shaves. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about those beautiful tools. So let's have a little bit of a look at this. I love this one. This is the Stanley number 53. Interesting thing about this is the blade is fixed in here and by adjusting this screw here, you change the size of the opening of the mouth of the plane. So here's the Kunz version of the number 53 and it's fantastic. Just works really nicely. So that's fairly fine. You notice I'm skewing the blade, which gives it that really nice spiral slicing cut. But if I adjust this little screw here and I open up the throat, you'll hear the sounds different. Hear that? That's such a coarse shaving. So I can really easily change that to where I want it to change the type of shaving that I'm generating, and that's the finer shaving. What an awesome tool, eh? Love the number 53. So we've also got the, the bare bones basic one. This one here has the adjusters to it. Uh, so here's the number 51 and this one has no adjusters Stanley had those as well um, so it's a pretty basic tool works a treat got a fairly coarse shaving in here at the moment cuts like a champion so this one has the flat sole on the bottom it's probably a little bit easier to do the adjustment where you have these adjusters on here so this one here for example this one would be a number 51A, because it's A means it's got the adjusters in it. It has a flat sole, so beautiful tool to adjust the size of the shaving from that very coarse one. All we need to do is move the blade in and out. And of course with a spoke shave, like any plane, the way you adjust it is you look here on a very low angle. And you can see how much blade is sticking up whether it's sticking up evenly or not. So there's a much finer shaving now just by moving the adjustment in here. So that one has a flat base to it. This one here has the curved sole on the bottom. So that is the 51A for adjusters, R for round on the bottom. So these, that's a pretty coarse shaving on there. All depends what they were last used for. Let me just back that off a little bit. So if you're going to do an inside curve like this, it's an advantage to have the spoke shave with the curved base because it will cut in there really nicely. If you're working with one with a flat base, it's not necessarily going to have the blade in contact where you want it. So if it these inside curves, the one with a round base, it's just beautiful. So this curve lends itself beautifully for doing an inside curve like that. And it's very much a rolling of the wrist to get that just right. The curved bottom ones like this, round bottom, are a little bit trickier because you've got to find that happy place here where the blade is cutting nicely. That's working pretty well. When you've got an outside curve like that, much better off with one with a flat base. 
So like one of these. And again, it's a rolling around. Best way to hold these is to use the flat spots there for index fingers and the thumbs in the bottom corners because that helps to keep the nose down. These fingers out here do very little. It's mostly there. And you don't have to push hard. It's all about getting the tool on the right angle. And if I had to go the other way, I could always reverse the grip, thumbs there, index fingers there, and push that way. That'll work also. So it is a plane. It's great for planing the surfaces. So with a box like this, that curve in there is just cleaned up after it's been sawn, uh, just with the spoke shave. It does it beautifully. Spoke shave also will do that curve and that curve. Such a great tool. But wait, there's more. So this one here is the Stanley 55. A bit hard to find these old ones here, but Kunz, of course, have made one as well. And so we have these available also. I think I bought this one about 30 years ago. Kunz, you can tell by the colours. What's great about these is when you have a curved surface. So we use these a lot when we're making the spindles and legs. You might have roughed this out with a draw knife, and then you can come in with this tool to do that really nice shaping. Because of the curve, it works really well for cleaning that up and removing a lot of the facets. Fantastic. So there we have an array of different Kunz tools which are available for these different spoke shaves. And they are all brilliant. We love them the bits. But at the moment, that is my favourite. Number 53 with the adjustable mouth. Um, just a very cool tool. So, have fun with spoke shaves, whichever type it is, an awesome tool. See you in the workshop.